What's up? Bisect Trend here from One Hive Gazette. Here with Max Live Attack video and haven't been recording these as much as lately, but uh, it's been mainly because I've been doing a lot of two-star attacks. Not that interesting, but I know you guys still like this series, so I wanted to keep it going. And taking a look at this base, um, basically I'm coming in with three hogs and get the CC lure. Don't know what's in there. Uh, whatever it is uh, will be lured out by those hogs as soon as they take out the mortar. I have an archer anchor. Just gonna surround it with wizards, barbarians, archers, a few minions, uh, and use a poison spell if I need to to take out whatever's in the CC. Then I'm gonna start up top here with a giant and uh, two giants actually. A wizard create the funnel, and then a few wizards up here uh, create that part of the funnel. And then just come in with a ton of valks. I think I have like 20. Just gonna come in right here. Uh, those should go through that wall and then start moving this way, at which point I have a jump. I'm also going to use uh, a rage and a heal around that time, uh, and they should overwhelm that multi-inferno, at which point I will have a jump and then another rage for them to let them out uh, after they take out the town hall, keep them moving. I'll drop the poison on the queen if I remember to, uh, to help slow her down. But yeah, my king, my queen, my valks, just everything coming up. Uh, the gut of this base really and then I'm gonna have some minions to try to take some of this stuff out but that's pretty much it guys a pretty simple plan make sure I have everything and go ahead and do it like I said not the most interesting stuff lately but uh, this is a close war and the percentage definitely matters uh, I guess let's go ahead and get this upgrade going while we're here uh, the percentage definitely matters so uh, you can see here I have the yeah I have 23 valves is a ton and then I have everything I need to to deal with the CC troops. I uh, got my heroes, the spells look good. Uh, yeah, this one should be fine as long as uh, things go according to plan. Let's go ahead and go to number five, uh, which is the base that I selected. Uh, I'm hitting pretty early, but I need to just because of my schedule. So uh, yeah, I'll just drop the three hogs. That should get the lure, uh, pull it out, and then from there, just come on in uh, with the wizards and then the uh, few giants, another wizard, and let the Valks bust their way in. And from there, it should just be a race to that town hall and then see what percentage I can get from there. So uh, let's go ahead and try this thing out. One last time, make sure I have everything. Uh, let's see, you got the poisons. All right, uh, yeah, have everything. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's get these hogs going. First things first. One, two, three. A uh, little bomb there, but no big deal. They have plenty of uh, damage to get that taken out. Uh, Lava Hound, what should I do here? I could ignore it. Um, <clears throat> I might just go ahead and ignore it here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Or I could just drop some minions on it. See if I can start taking it out a little bit. I uh, get some damage going on there. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and start things up top here. Uh, I'll wait another few seconds to let the little bit of damage get on there. And then from there, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll drop a poison right here and get this thing going. Wizard, wizard, two giants. Wizard, get the queen down, and then get these Valks going. Ton of Valks all moving their way in. Let's get some more Wizards down. Jump spell, heal, rage. Uh, yeah, everything's moving forward. Get this next jump ready. They already kind of beat through the wall there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Uh, percentage I'm not sure yet we'll see how this thing shapes up uh, they definitely got pretty deep into this base pop the queen's ability uh, king's ability oh my goodness those came up quickly uh, got that builder's hut not a whole lot of percentage on this base though uh, the queen will get that taken out and then from here I can just drop in some minions but this is not going to be much over 50% uh, yeah I mean, I thought the plan was pretty solid. Go ahead and drop those in here. I'll probably get like 55%. Um, looks like we got that lava pup down, okay. 
Uh, let's see if I can start getting this stuff going. Uh, minion. Uh, what other archers can I sneak in here? I can get one there. I can maybe get one there. Uh, not quite. Uh, not sure what else I can do here. Uh, yeah, I might just have to rush one more building. I can actually probably get a trade right here. Start a barb, then one of uh, the wizard right there, and he should get that. Nope. Stupid wizard. All right, two barbs and a wizard. That should be plenty. Get that taken out. There's one more building. Uh, I don't know where else to put these. Let's see. Uh, maybe something was low somehow. Let's see if we can get like that going. Uh, yeah, I can't quite reach that. All right, 60%, uh, not the best. Still had this poison spell. Uh, so, you know, is what it is. Not thrilled with that. I'd like to get a little bit better percentage, but... Um, yeah, not a whole lot of people on either. It's a little bit late, especially because I'm West Coast. But anyway, let's take a look at the attack. Because uh, that Lava Hound, definitely I wasn't expecting it. You don't see it that much with people using Valks so much. Uh, just not that common. Sent in the few hogs. They got the CC lure. That was fine. Three was the perfect number. Uh, you know, just enough to get in there, trigger that. Uh, drop the Archer Anchor. Thought about it for a moment. Go ahead and fast forward from here. Deciding what to do. Went ahead and dropped a few minions. Uh, maybe more than I should have. Should have saved those for some percentage. Probably just like two, three was good. I wanted to get some damage because I had plenty of time. And what I did is I dropped this poison because I knew that the balloon and the lava hound were going to have to cut up to the top of the base to get my wizard and my uh, giant, which I, which I was dropping up there. So I went ahead and dropped that poison. And I think that balloon, I, I don't know if it went down or not. We'll see. It kind of takes a while, but it might not go down. But anyway, got some damage on the CC troops. You can see I definitely didn't even need my poisons. It did get that balloon. Okay, so that worked out uh, pretty sneaky there. Should have dropped that poison on the queen, like I said, but I forgot. Uh, so no big deal, really. Everything making its way on in there. I didn't have a freeze, and uh, the Inferno stayed up for quite a while. So the heal probably isn't doing a whole lot for my Valks. And you can see a lot of them just went right through that wall. I'm not sure why. If that was the... It wouldn't have been the queen. I, I don't know. I, I even missed that on the replay. It happened so fast. But for some reason, they went right through that wall right there. So about half of my Valks kind of suicided. They got a few Teslas, but besides that, they went down. Uh, the Queen kind of goes out on her own here. She'll get a few more buildings. I'm not sure if it would have been better for her to go in or not. Probably wouldn't have made a huge difference. And uh, from there, just uh, don't have a whole lot left. But anyway, uh, two attacks, two 60%, two stars for me this war. So I'll take it. And uh, I'm not going to be on for the end of the war, which is why I'm not holding on to my attacks for too long. Uh, otherwise, I might have, ha have had some three-star opportunities. But I'll go ahead and fast forward from here because it's just dropping some archers, some minions, uh, some wizards, getting a few more percentage like you guys saw. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the live attack series. I'll try to do it more, especially when I have some three-stars because two-stars aren't that fun to watch. I just wanted to get one recorded because I haven't done a live attack in so long, and I felt like I should do one regardless of whether it was a two-star or a three-star. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.